I'm miserable, but I know that I'm in pain. Joan McGowan has been poked prodded and pumped with narcotics ever since she was diagnosed with a form of multiple sclerosis in 2011. I have been told you're never going to be able to work again. You're never going to be able to function without narcotics. Both statements that McGowan refuses to believe. But when she came to Louisiana from California, McGowan says she was hooked on opioids. And despite asking for other methods of dealing with her chronic pain, the treatment from doctors always seemed to revert back to drugs. And these narcotics are no joke. Dr. Shri Ram Koi with the Louisiana Department of Health says overprescribing has become a problem across the country, specifically in Louisiana. The data shows that 90% of long-term opioid users actually got their medications from a provider, a doctor, a nurse practitioner, a dentist, from someone who um, it's their job to help these patients be healthy. Koi admits that she can see why many providers are quick to prescribe. When I was training in medical school, when I was training in residency, there was very little talk about uh, uh, opioid addiction and about the risks and how can you use non-opioids. But now she says there's a wealth of data to support non-opioid treatments. By using non-opioids for abdominal surgeries, I can decrease the length of stay. I can um, uh, increase the, the return of bowel function, which is where patients are are able to uh, resume their diet. In Louisiana, there is a prescription monitoring program that collects prescribing and dispensing data and flags a patient if that person is trying to get too many opioid prescriptions. But with only 20% engagement from providers, Koi says that number should be higher. The Louisiana Commission on Preventing Opioid Abuse is also challenging doctors to think outside the pill bottle to assess a patient's individual pain level. If prior to opioids, their pain level was an 8, and after opioids were initiated, their pain level is still an 8, then you know that it's not uh, it's not working, and, and um, you're, you're going on that, that slippery slope. McGowan is currently looking for more natural methods of treatment and is hoping during her next hospital visit, doctors will take her pleas into consideration. I'm praying that they will be able to help me, that they won't just just jump and give me the highest level of narcotics. Randy Russo, WDSU News.